Kansas City Chiefs versus Buffalo Bills, instant reaction. And to me, at least, this game wasn't really surprising. Now, you hate to see a game like this uh, played in, in wet, rainy conditions. That kind of sucks. But I'll say this, man. Kansas City and Buffalo, they both moved the ball. I watched a Washington-Los Angeles Rams uh, game a couple weeks ago. Neither team could move the ball. Both of these teams, both of these quarterbacks look the, look look like they're throwing, which bodes well as the weather conditions deteriorate over the rest of the year. Uh, you got to be able to win in the snow. You got to be able to win in the rain, especially Buffalo, by the way. You got to be able to win in snow. And so, you know, Josh Allen looked just fine. Back to the Chiefs, though. Look, they looked sluggish last week, especially the defense looked sluggish against the Las Vegas Raiders. They came out. They were ready to go. What do we know about Kansas City? When they played Baltimore, they gave Baltimore their best shot. Because why? Because they respect Baltimore, and they know that Baltimore is a rival to them in the AFC. I think it's the same is true. Kansas City was not underestimating Buffalo. Very few people at this point are underestimating Buffalo, although now that there are two losses in a row, maybe people will sleep again. But hey, I got good news for you, Buffalo fans. The New York Jets are the foes next week. The Buffalo Bills have a get-right game against a really struggling New York Jets team who, for some reason, have not fired Adam Gase yet. So Buffalo's going to be just fine. They're going to improve to 5-2, and two, and they're going to win going away next week. Buffalo's defense, I thought, did a nice job. I mean, you're not going to be able to keep Kansas City uh, to, to low points. And keeping them at 26 points, I thought, was a nice job. And you know what, Buffalo fans, if you thought, hey, can we keep Kansas City to 26? Are we going to win this game? You probably would have taken that, given what Josh Allen and this Buffalo Bills offense has done. Uh, let me just go ahead and look at the stats real quick. And I got one number, right? Everybody knows this. It's 6.2. That's a yards per carry for Clyde edwards Lair. Patrick Mahomes was 21 of 26. Not a huge passing day, again, the wet conditions, but 21 of 26. Um, in a driving rain, that's pretty good in my book. Patrick Mahomes is awesome. 225 yards, two touchdowns. Edwards Alaire, 26 carries, 161 yards. No touchdowns for Edwards Alaire. He had one called back on, uh, I think, what was a holding penalty. Uh, Mahomes, by the way, adds another 10 carries for 36 yards. Just a great game for Mahomes, yeah, even without having to dominate the stat line in terms of touchdowns. Daryl Williams adds six carries, 26 yards, and a touchdown. It was a key touchdown, a backbreaker, I think. Darwin Thompson adds three carries for 17 yards. Kansas City next week, Le'Veon Bell will be active, and I believe that he will slowly eat into Clyde Edwards-Hilaire's uh, work share. Now, look, Denver's really good against the run next week. That's Kansas City's opponent. Um, I'm not going to say Le'Veon Bell is going to come in there and it's going to be an instant snap share, but by the end of the season, I believe Edwards-Hilaire and Le'Veon Bell will be at about the same amount of snap percentage. They might use uh, both backs different ways, but both will be factors going forward. That's something to keep track of in fantasy football. It's great that Edwards Hilaire had a nice game. If you're worried about Le'Veon Bell, and I personally would be, um, if I had Edwards Hilaire, uh, I would be looking at possibly trading him after a strong performance. But you have to feel good about him getting 26 touches the week that they also add Le'Veon Bell. So uh, Kansas City, it did surprise me a little bit that they were able to out-physical um, Buffalo, they played a more physical game than Buffalo. To be fair, Buffalo, I'm sure, was prepared for the passing attack. Um this game plan that we saw uh, implemented by the Kansas City Chiefs is what I expected, frankly, the Las Vegas Raiders to try to do against Buffalo a couple weeks ago. And again, to be fair to Buffalo's defense, I think the Vegas Raiders tried to do it. They just weren't as effective as Kansas City. So, you know, Kansas City, here's what you take away. Your defense shows up when they're playing good opponents. Um, I think it's a test next week against Denver. Are they going to come out sluggish? They've come out sluggish against the other two NFC West opponents. Um, they slept walk through that Los Angeles Chargers game. And, uh, you know, obviously... They just really didn't even get off the bus against the Raiders. Are they going to show up against a Denver Broncos team that is also struggling offensively? We'll see. But it has to feel good to know that Patrick Mahomes is just a beast out there. He can beat you throwing the ball, and they can beat a really good team in the Buffalo Bills running the ball. That's awesome. Uh, in terms of receiving, look, Kelsey gets the two touchdowns. He only had five catches, 65 yards. You get Demarcus Robinson leads um, the receivers in terms of catches. Five catches, 69 yards. Tariq Hill only had three catches for 20 yards. Uh, Daryl Williams gets a catch. Byron Pringle, and I know Sammy Watkins is out. He adds two catches for 46 yards. Again, Buffalo did a great job. And I think Buffalo was saying, hey, beat us with the run. Go ahead and do it. 
And, you know, 6.2 yards per carry. That's what happened. Now, Buffalo, um, Josh Allen played. I thought he played okay. Um, he didn't give you his best game. I know he threw a pick there. Not too concerned about that. 14 to 27. You know, that's probably what we did. You know, the stat line for Josh Allen, again, it was a rain. So I'm not going to, rainy day. I'm not going to give him too much grief about this. But that's the stat line you would see in his rookie year. He's been doing much better this season. 14 to 27, 122 yards, two touchdowns. Adds eight carries for 42 yards. <clears throat> He just didn't do enough to get it done against the Kansas City Chiefs. Hey, it's hard to beat the Chiefs. Devin Singletary, 10 carries, 32 yards. Zach Moss adds 5 carries, 10 yards. The Chiefs were not letting Buffalo run the ball. And Buffalo kind of moves away from the run pretty quick. I do like Cole Beasley. I love that touchdown. That was a heck. I don't know how he... First of all, I don't know how he didn't tear an ACL when he tried to torque his knees that way to get to the end zone and how he stayed up. That was a fantastic touchdown. Four catches, 45 yards, a touchdown. Stephon Diggs, six, six catches, 46 yards and a touchdown. Stephon Diggs, man, you got to run back. You got to run back at the end of the game there. Come on, man. You can do better than that. Uh, Josh Allen, you know, that one interception was at the end of the game. Not Again, not a big deal. I'm not, um, you know, really crying about that. Devin Singletary, one carry, 13 yards. I'm sorry, one catch for 13 yards to go with his 10 carries for 32 yards. Look, you know, Buffalo is a downfield passing team. <sighs> I don't know what to do with Singletary. I have him, um, you know, in my primary league. I'm going to try to trade him, but I don't know if anybody's going to want him. I might have to put him on the waiver wire. Um, he's just not showing up. Buffalo isn't really trying to get him the ball. You know, this week, and I love Brian Dable. I really respect the heck out of him. I would have thought in the rain, you know, this is the week to really try, try to dial up some stuff in the screen game. Um, one catch for the running backs. Eh, I don't love it. John Brown, non-factor, four targets, but no catches. Uh, Gabriel Davis, who I like quite a bit, only one catch on one target. So it's basically Kansas City, man. Kansas City did really well. The bulk of the targets went to Colby Easley and Stephon Diggs, so they were working um, the middle of the field there. Uh, Tyler Croft only had two targets. Eh, you know, just credit Kansas City. Uh, it was a rainy day. Buffalo, yeah, two losses, one to Tennessee, one to Kansas City. It doesn't feel good losing to two teams of that caliber because you're going to have to deal with them in the playoffs, but you'll be back. I still think Buffalo's the best team in the East, uh, and they play the New York Jets. They will be in the playoffs, and they might even get another crack at the Kansas City Chiefs. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Buffalo Bills fans, tell me what happened. What did you think they should have done differently to try to win this game? What did they have to do that they didn't do? Same thing, Kansas City. Uh, are you going to come out? Are you going to come out flat against Denver next week? Are you going to be strong against Denver? What do you think uh, is the key moving forward? Can anybody touch you when the games matter? Is that the key? Does Kansas City only get up for the really good teams? Um, that's kind of some of the stuff that I've been seeing this year. So I'll be curious. But uh, Kansas City, to me, is still the Super Bowl favorite. Uh, I don't know how you could go otherwise. And a uh, good win for Kansas City. Tough loss for Buffalo. But, hey, 4-2, and two, you'll be 5-2 and two next week. Not a big deal. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on another video soon.